Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes tutorial and in this video we will discuss some MCQs. Uh, we will discuss 20 MCQs related to Wordsworth and Francis Bacon in this uh, yeah, in this series. And as you know, we have our MCQ group uh, on, for daily basis where you get these PDFs. If you wish to join uh, this uh, group, you can join. Uh, you can directly uh, message me on my number 740928756. Okay, so daily you get uh, PDF uh, in the group uh, and uh, these uh, MCQs uh, have explanations as you can see here. Now let's uh, discuss 20 MCQs for today. The first volume of Liquor Ballad was first published uh, was published with brief advertisement but without. So the first volume of Liquor Ballad was in the conclusion, theme, preface or criticism. इन चारों में से कौन सी चीज नहीं थी तो उसमें क्या नहीं था प्रीफेस नहीं था सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द एक्सप्लेनेशन नाउ लेट्स कम टू द सेकंड क्वेश्चन हु आस्क्ड वर्डवर्थ टू राइट अ प्रीफेस फॉर सेकंड एडिशन जो सेकंड एडिशन था उसमें वर्डवर्थ को किसने कहा कि प्रीफेस लिखना चाहिए उन्हें हिज फ्रेंड्स हिज फैमिली मेंबर्स हिज लवर और द किंग सो इट वाज हिज फ्रेंड्स हु सजेस्टेड हिम टू राइट डाउन प्रीफेस अब क्यों प्रीफेस क्यों लिखने के लिए उन्होंने कहा था उन्होंने कहा इसलिए कहा था कि दो चीजें थी उनमें कि दे वांटेड टू नो द थ्योरी बिहाइंड द रिटन वर्क जो उनका वर्क था लेकर uh, बैलेट उसके थ्योरी वो जानना चाहते थे और दूसरा वो चा, जानना चाहते थे कि व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन हिज थॉट ओके व्हाट ही इज राइटिंग डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर पॉइंट्स यू कैन सी सो हियर इज द पॉइंट His friends asked him to write the preface in order to explain to them why he wrote Little Ballad in a way that differ from the other poet system. जो बाकी point हम mention करते हैं यहाँ पर वो इसलिए करते हैं कि जो answer है उसके साथ साथ आप और चीजें भी याद कर पाएं। और आप लोग अगर daily MCQ practice कर रहे हैं group में तो definitely it will help you in your every exam like you are preparing for UGC NET or SLAT. State, uh, state set or uh, if you are preparing for TZT, PZT for KBS or NBS तो सभी exam में आप लोगों को ये जो series है वो आप लोगों को बहुत helpful होगी The second edition of Laker Ballad explain its aims and objectives and the theory of जो second edition था उसमें Laker Ballads ने क्या explain किया है Critic, Literature, Poetry or Criticism So your answer is Poetry here William Wordsworth uh, was the poet of nature as we all know and he defined poetry as the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings and emotions बहुत सारे exam में ये question पूछे गए हैं and at, the, at that point of time it was most revolutionary thought uh, what he gave to uh, people Rustic life is more noble and permanent because they are connected with the object of real life, truth, nature or fancy. So your answer is nature. Here's the first fifth question. In Wordsworth's poem, dash are more important than action and situation. Here, Wordsworth's poem is which is important hai action or situation. Se. C is the feeling. Imagination fancy feeling or knowledge so as we uh, we just uh, go through the definition spontaneous over overflow of the uh, feeling so here is the word feeling is important in the poems of William Wordsworth second thing is nature as you can see a uh, deep emotion is fundamental con condition of poetry and uh, this is uh, true for William Wordsworth Here, uh, it is feeling that matters and Wordsworth discards Aristotelian doctrine that the plot or the situation uh, is the first and most important thing. For Wordsworth, the first thing is feeling. A primary function of poetry is to give dash to the reader. The primary fu function is well, according to Wordsworth. Ki baat kar rahe hum pe. Knowledge, idea, truth or pleasure. So here the answer is pleasure according to uh, William Wordsworth. The view of the aesthetics uh, is that the function of poetry is to give uh, pleasure to the reader irrespective of the moral ideas. So first thing uh, poetry should give 
to people is pleasure according to what william wordsworth a poet differs from an individual not in nature but in dash uh, jo poet hai wo ek uh, individual se alag hota hai kis cheez mein imagination talent degree or words so your answer is c degree a poet is a flesh and blood like us and his language should be the same to the language of common man so this is according to william wordsworth not according to other poets thus the critic represents himself as a real lover of man wordsworth wants to say that there is no difference between a poet and common man a poet differs from an ordinary man not in kind but in degree so who told this it was william wordsworth wordsworth justifies the use of meter and condemns the use of dash rhyme words poetic diction or tradition so your answer is poetic diction actually he wanted to make uh, poetry from uh, free from poetic diction okay he himself uses meter in poetry for the following reason meter is an additional source of pleasure uh, it can give pleasure even without the use of poetic diction even uh, when the language is simple and naked now meter has uh, he used meter uh, in his works uh, unhone bhi khud meter ko use kiya tha wahan pe diction ko use kiya hai but yahan par important kya hai important ye hai ki unhone pleasure ko focus kiya hai the poetic co composition takes place in uh, how many stages jo poetic composition hai wo kaun se stage mein pai jati hai so it is first a second stage b fourth and sixth stage or eighth stage here we will uh, see there are four stages in process of poetic creation jo hai poetic creation mein char stages hoti hai these are observation recollection and contemplation and imaginative excitement so here you as you can see uh, answer is b right so b is the fourth one now let's come to the next one the only difference between the language of prose and language of poetry is jo difference hai language mein prose aur poetry mein wo kaun sa hai use of rhymes use of feelings use of words or use of meter so use of rhyme is the difference now let's come to the francis bacon some questions from francis bacon we will ask here How many essays were published in Bacon's first edition? जो first edition था उसमें कितने essays उन्होंने publish किए थे He published uh, 10 essays. Francis Bacon first published uh, his essays in 97 on aspect of public life such as honor and reputation, ceremonies, studies. With a second edition of 38 essays appearing in uh, 1612. And uh, if you haven't gone through all the works of uh, Francis Bacon, you can. Uh, Uh, was the detailed video on Francis Bacon on our channel? Yes, Francis Bacon पे हमने एक detailed video भी channel पर डाला है. How many essays were published in Bacon's third and final edition? Uh, it was fifty uh, eight, and in second one, as you can see here, it was thirty eight, and first was ten. Uh, so ten, thirty eight, and uh, finally fifty eight. You can see. So it was twenty five, it was twelve, and it was ninety seven. so like this you can remember all the words here sell all thou hast and give it to the poor and follow me the, this line is taken from which of the following essay kaun se essay se ye work liya gaya hai so your answer is c of goodness and goodness of nature uh, of goodness and goodness nature was written by the english essayist francis bacon as we see here Uh, who was one of the major essayists of his time? Why did Bacon translate some of his works from English into Latin? जो Bacon थे उन्होंने अपना अपने जो work थे उसे English से Latin में क्यों translate किया था? Because he wanted to show his mastery over both English or Latin. Because he Latin would last last longer than English as literary language. He knew Latin better than uh, English or because Latin is easier than English. Your answer is B. क्योंकि उनका ऐसा मानना था उस टाइम पे कि जो लेटिन थी वो इंग्लिश से ज्यादा क्या होगी ज्यादा दिनों तक रहेगी बट एज यू कैन सी टूडे इंग्लिश इज बेटर नोन देन एनी अदर लैंग्वेज इन दर्ल्ड 
Now let's come to the uh, 15 one. How many essays were published in Bacon's second edition of 1612? Uh, 38, 37, 36 or 39. And now you know that uh, this question 38 is what did. Here I gave you the shortcut for this. You can write down here uh, 97. Uh, write down whenever you are practicing like 97 upon uh, 10. 12 upon here you can write down 38 and uh, finally you will write down 25 and here uh, 58 essays were there or 59 but this was number 58 now let's come to the next one what is beckons the new atlantis jo beckon ka ek work hai the new atlantis wo kya hai a volume of essays a historical work beckons auto biography autobiography hai a utopian romance so your answer is a utopian romance and it got uh, published in 1926 posthumously so such questions are asked uh, like which work is incomplete so it, this work was incomplete new atlantis is uh it was incomplete it was utopian novel it is by sir francis bacon and it got published uh, in 1626 so so many questions one two three four four questions can be made here uh, it appear unheralded and tucked into the back of longer work of natural history sylvia silverum forest of material what is beckons uh apophel mims ye work jo hai beckons ka apophel mims ko jo work hai wo kaun sa hai a philosophy of life, a collection of wise sayings, of past personalities, a literary treatise, and evaluation of Renaissance. So your answer is B, a collection of wise sayings of past personalities. In which prose style are Bacon, Bacon's essay written? In conversational style, aphoristic style, in humoristic style, humorous style, a in satirical style so your answer is aphoristic style or ye bhi question kafi baar pucha jata hai ki jo aphoristic style hai wo kaun se writer se belong karta hai to ye jo style hai wo hai aapka bacon ka and uh, what is an aphoristic style aphoristic style means a compact condensed and epigrammatic style of writing agar short mein aap logon ko bataun ki aphoristic style bahut baar आता होगा आपके सामने कि एफरिस्टिक स्टाइल जो है वो बेकन का है लेकिन ये आ, कई बार समझ नहीं आता है तो अगर हम किसी चीज को बहुत शॉर्ट में बोले और बहुत ही विटी हो तो उसी को हम एफरिस्टिक स्टाइल कहेंगे ओके नाउ लेट्स कम टू द नेक्स्ट वन एंड एज यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव एडिड सम मोर फैक्ट्स after every mcq so that you can study more and you can understand things more or better तो अगर आप MCQ ग्रुप ज्वाइन करते हैं तो आपको डेली एक आदत सी बढ़ जाती है MCQ करने की और ये अगर आप इंग्लिश लिटरेचर के स्टूडेंट हैं आपके लिए बहुत ही अच्छा ये बेनिफिशियल होता है चिल्ड्रन स्वीट इन लेवल्स लेवर्स बट दे मेक मिसफॉर्च्यून्स मोर बेटर दिस लाइन इज टेकन फ्रॉम व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एसे ऑफ पेरेंट्स एंड चिल्ड्रन ऑफ लव ऑफ मैरिज एंड सिंगल लाइफ ऑफ फॉलोअर्स एंड फ्रेंड्स आंसर इज of parents and children uh, we will not go through the explanation here he that has wife and children has uh, given hostess for fortune this line is taken from which of the following essay answer is c of marriage and single life 